Welcome to Sass of Sabrina. This is the channel where we try one new thing a week and post however it has turned out, all in the hopes of inspiring you to find some sass of your own or make you laugh. If we make you laugh, please subscribe. If we make you smile, please share. So in today's video, we are doing bubble wrap art. This is my second attempt on this video. Mallory and I did it previously. Unfortunately, the footage was completely incompatible with being downloaded. Sometimes with videos, things just go haywire. Mallory made. This is her bubble wrap art here and here, and these are her poppies. This is a hydrangea that I had made. The, the green parts are dipped just once or twice with the individual two green colors, and then the center is like multi-dip. And I didn't wait for the previous color to dry. This one I will complete. I will add a little bit more on this side. It's supposed to be fireworks. I think it needs a little bit more detail also. And then I will also create some cards, show and tell purposes of how to do it. It's very simple, it's very easy. Literally, you just take your bubble wrap, dip it in some paint, and then use that as your paintbrush. Or you could take your bubble wrap and turn that into your canvas. There's lots of different things I've seen, lots of different ways I, that you can use this as an art medium. I'm pretty sure you could have fun with this for any holiday occasion. I think it would be really easy to make some cute little bubble wrap dip pumpkins. That would be adorable. Be sure you could have fun and create a Santa with it also. So for whatever holiday season coming up, a little bubble wrap heart for Valentine's Day. I think possibilities are endless. The first time we made the video, we were working with little rectangles about this size. It's probably about four by six. And you literally just gather dip and go or like i said you can create right on here oh i should have offloaded let's just do two of these yesterday we were working with thicker paint i should have offloaded before i just went ahead and dapped it on there live and learn This will be my offload piece, but I'm also going to try to turn that into something. I have no idea what. I think this is a really cute craft for kids. You can make this really simple and really creative. For those who are more seasoned artists, you could probably have a lot of fun using this just as a sheer blending tool. Oh, odd pop. That's fun. So I just wanted to clean the center of the sun up a little bit more, so I grabbed a clean one. But other than that, I've just been creating this whole little canvas card with the same dipped, 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 continuously, not even cleaning it off in between piece of bubble wrap. Nice. I like that. Hopefully that looks like a little sunrise. If you did just light dabs, individual dip dab, that's how it will turn out. So it's a little bit tricky to make those look like fireworks, but I think if I added some streaks here and there, like the the shooting of the firework up into the sky, I think that would look pretty cool. I don't even mind how it looks uh, on its own. These are my two offload pieces of paper. I will probably turn those into cards for birthdays coming up. I love art. I, I love exploring new art mediums and creating. So for me, that was a lot of fun and really relaxing. Doing it two days in a row just to make the video has been really good for both Mallory and I. These are now dry and that's how my little sunrise has turned out. 
This roll of bubble wrap I just picked up at the Dollarama actually a few years ago. I've had this around the house for wrapping gifts, so why not just play with it also. You can even let those dry and turn those into anything. That'd be really cute as a little proper little snowman and all bubbly and stuff. I hope you try the bubble wrap art. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please subscribe. Thanks so much for watching my video. Please subscribe, watch on repeat, like, and share. Sass it up!